Hello, thanks for watching. So uh, back here with the uh, 72 Comet 26 uh, snapper mower and haven't had this very long, haven't used it really but one time. Uh, trying to get it to run better and one of the things I want to do today is to um, grease the spindle so uh, we could have a little bit better look at this if we take the cover off and see the pulley. I'm not going to take the cover off, but let me see if I can let you get a look. Let's try using a blower. Mm, there's like multiple layers of this stuff under here. This has been there for probably from day one. Uh, that's why it's really good not to cut wet grass. Uh, so yeah, let me blow that off a little more and we'll get started on this. Alright, so I uh, wasn't going to do it the easy way, so I went ahead and took the bolts out of this. There was only two in there anyway. Uh, and, you know, because of the, the lever here with the handle, you can't... This is metal too. So you can't get this off very... I don't know how you get it off actually. So right there... Pulley is at that shaft area. Uh, we want to get some lubricant in there, and so uh, to do that, there's a grease fitting right behind the blade, and it's right there. So I want to clean that off. So I'm using this lithium grease, the number two. Um, now in my grease gun, uh, I've got a different brand, but it's it's the number two as well. So it is green, so I'm not sure what the color of this is. I've never used this stuff. And I've got about a half a cartridge in my grease gun. So I expect I'll probably go through that and have to put some more of this. So um, yeah, this may be a different color. Okay. All right, it's about 20 pumps right there. But what I forgot to tell you or show you is uh, what the spindle sounds like. So it may be too late. Hear that? Hoping to get a little bit better than that sound. Hear that? All right, so uh, we may not get any better, but at least we'll know we've got grease in there. So yeah, uh, I expect to do a lot more than that. So let me go ahead and set you back up here. Let's make sure our gun is working. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, so when I got to 105, let me show you what happened. It's like 110. All right, I'm gonna take this off and watch what happens. Look at it. Check it out. 
so it's full so I'm gonna let this uh, continue to uh, to push itself out and uh, and I'll wipe that off in the meantime see if we see any still don't see any grease over here okay so yeah Get all this, we got some green grease coming out right here. Get all that. Got some coming out of the little nipple still. So, uh, yeah, I only used what was left in that uh, gun, the cartridge that was left, and like I said, it was about a half. And I still have some more in there, so I wasn't um, able to use the new stuff here. Uh, so, yeah, I guess around 90 pumps would have probably been good. Uh, I took it off at uh, 100 and, was it 105, I think? And it just started squirting back out. So uh, probably 90 would have been okay, something like that. Um, and you can see a lot of it has kind of came out here at the blade. So probably 90, but I, you know, I still got some coming out. So I'm just going to let it do what it does and um, feel pretty good about it. You know it being full um, now this is not a how-to on this mower do your own due diligence read your manual on your mower on how to uh, grease if you need to grease them at all some of them may have bearings that uh, can not even be reached by the grease you know sealed bearings I'm not sure but um, there's a fitting there for a reason so uh, that's what I'm going to do on this mower and it's an old mower I'd rather rather think that I've got some in there than not have enough and I could hear that kind of almost a whistling it was it was grinding kind of when I would start it so uh yeah I think it's going to be okay so thanks for watching I have also got uh, lube in the differential and the chain there now so I'm going to try to start this now that the grass is now wet from all the rain we've had and see how well it works and I'll probably leave an update on the uh after I do that so uh so stay tuned for that.